Hello artists and welcome back to Quick Houdini. I'm Mardom and this time we're gonna learn how to link our external editors for coding to our Houdini scenes. So let's stop talking and let's go for it. Type our code in this tiny Houdini snippet. Uh, usually it's like a big pile of shit. That is one big pile of shit. So I'm gonna show you how to link our Houdini scene with an external editor. In this case, I'm gonna use the Visual Studio code. You can use Sublime, uh, Atom, whatever you want. And here you can download the version for your system. So let's download this and let's install this software. And remember to create a shortcut into the desktop if you want to fill your desktop with a lot of trash. That's good. So let's open the software and let's go to the extension tabs. And here we're gonna look for Python. We're gonna install Python and then we're gonna install Bex. If it's the first time that you're installing Python in your computer, first you will need to install the Python library. So you can hit install into extension, but the software, the Visual Studio Code is gonna tell you, hey, you don't have any Python library. So let's go to Python and let's download the Python library. And remember to always say yes, install and wait. Good. Now it's done, we have Python in our computer and always remember to donate because Python is open source. So let's put some few dollars. And now we have Python in our computer and in our software of Visual Studio Code. Let's do the same with Houdini. Let's do the same with Bex. And here, as you can see, there is like a buy me a coffee. So instead of a coffee, let's buy him like 10,000 million coffees. That's good. And also we're gonna go to CG Toolbox CG Toolbox, we have this tool that is going to be the bridge between Houdini and the external editor. Always remember, download this and then donate. Donate few dollars, like for example, 10,000 billion dollars, that's good. Let's extract the content of our folder and let's go to see what we have to do. So here we have the installation instructions. So as we can see, we have the content, the directory we have to paste the content. So let's take that folder and let's paste it in our home inside our Houdini version. Let's paste it here. Oh, good. So remember to take our Houdini and close all your scenes before. And let's open a new one. So now if you go to your snippet and you right click and you go to expressions, edit in external editor, it's gonna ask you, hey, which is the external editor? So select the external editor you want to use. In this case, the studio code, let's say, okay. And as you can see here, we have the path related of our scene. So every time we, just control S, so we save it. This is gonna go directly into our Houdini snippet. So all good, here you can now type code with colors, with the functions, explain it, all the stuff much better than the Houdini default snippet. So problem fix. Thank you so much for watching this video and remember to hit subscribe, uh, give me just a bit of love in my webpage mardam.com or my Instagram. So if you like the video, remember that you are helping me a lot with a subscribe, a like, or sharing with your friends. Uh, you know, sharing is caring. So thank you so much and see ya.